I'll start with a quote from possibly uh, the greatest musician, uh, in my opinion, uh, Felakuti. And the quote goes, goes this way. With my music, I create change. I am using my music as a weapon. Let's talk music. Let's talk about the impact of the mind, body, and soul. Firstly, the music, the little music history. According to the Oxford Dictionary, music is vocal or instrumental sounds combined in such a way as to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion. Secondly, it is the written or printing, printed signs representing vocal or instrumental sound. Some schools of thought opine that music began about 40,000 years ago, although this may even be much further. Some say the Greek philosopher Pythagoras invented music. However, in terms of music history, there are six periods, which I'll briefly touch on. You had the medieval period between 1150 and 1400. Instruments created during this period were the flute, recorder, which is still in, in existence today. The organ, not so much. Then we had the Renaissance period between 1400 and 1600. Instruments uh, created during this period were the trumpet, the guitar, tambourine, and the small guitar. The Baroque period was between 1600 and 1750. Instruments again, oboe, violin, viola, and the cello. The classical era between 1750 and 1820. That was the introduction of the piano. The Romantic period is between 1820 and 1900. And that's when you have the bigger orchestras that are still in um, use today and the national music schools uh, uh, from, from that period were created. And then finally, uh, the 20th or the 21st century, which is what we consider modern music now, impressionist, expressionist, modern, postmodern, and contemporary music, including our Afro, Afro beats. Uh, according to numerous sources, which include philosophers, doctors, anthropologists, just to name a few, music asserts a powerful influence on we humans. It can help us with lightening our mood, reducing anxiety or stress, reducing depression, it can be a sleep aid. Some people need it to sleep. It helps them listen to some classical music, some jazz or some gospel. And for working out when we're in the gym. Now, I would like to talk a little bit about the impact of the mind. Although this is a longer list, I'll just touch on four ways music affects the brain. Emotion. Uh, from a mother singing a song to a newborn baby or father uh, to an instant uplift in our mood when a favorite song is played on the radio or in our car. Music helps us to have a direct impact to a person, place, period, or event. Memory. It's been a proven technique for sufferers of Alzheimer's, uh, as well as a few other ailments, to help people regain parts of their memory and improve their mental health. Learning. In a groundbreaking study by the University of, of New, Newcastle in Australia some years ago, popular music was used to assist patients with severe brain injuries in recalling personal memories. Attention, certain types of music while affecting our mood can also distract us or make us inattentive to tasks at, at hand. Some are unable to study without music and some need it as a break away from too much work. Research us shown us that when a subject listens to music that gives them the chills, it triggers a, a release of dopamine to the brain. Dopamine is a kind of naturally occurring happy chemical we receive as part of a reward system. Now here's really the interesting part. Dopamine is not only released during peak musical moments, but also when we anticipate those moments. It's like when the favorite chorus of your song is coming out, you know, there's this reaction that you have uh, it's called dopamine it's like our brain is rewarding us for knowing a really great chorus is about to hit now impacts to the body according to the harvard medical review doctors tell us that music can enhance the function of neutral networks slows the heart rate lower blood pressure reduce levels of stress hormones and inflammatory 
cytokines and provide some relief to patients undergoing surgery, as well as heart attack and stroke victims. Uh, like I said earlier, music can also be used for workouts. Why not having a direct impact to the endurance? It helps to increase tempo. Now, finally, I'll just talk about the impact to child development. Music ignites all areas of child development and skills for school readiness. Don't believe me? Get your children involved with, with, with piano classes, guitar lessons, or even the drums. It helps with intellectual, social, emotional, motor, language, and overall literacy. It helps the body and the mind work together. Exposing children to music during her early development helps them to uh, get used to the sounds and meaning of words. Finally, music helps to build pride, confidence, and memory retention. Thank you. Really, um, a recent research in the United States of America found that music actually helps with easier assimilation in the classroom for children. So there's an ongoing advocacy that classes should have soft music playing on the background while you know classes are going on or children are studying and stuff like that. But it's, um, I, I wouldn't want to say it's a dime a dozen, but I think, like he pointed out, different people differ in their you know, reaction or reception or perception of music. Now, something really funny happened in my office yesterday. So there's a song I like. It's by David Do, um, Holy Ground. So yeah. now one of my assistants was playing that music and I found I was vibing to it, like really singing along, enjoying myself. Now I went back into my space and tried to do some work. And I found out it was just really difficult for me to concentrate. And then when my conscious mind came to the fact that the young man has started playing another song that I did not really find, you know, personal pleasure in, I quickly shut him down. I said, look, you're distracting me. Put off that music. This is an office. You can't play that. You know, you can't play such songs here. And then three seconds later, I, my mind went back to the fact that, oh, this same person played a song that I really liked like a few minutes ago. Yeah. And I did not realize it was an office and he couldn't play such music at the office. So I think it's all based on personal... Um, Perception. For yes. Me, for me, it's different. Um, okay, I'm in governance now. So I, know, um, I loved music growing up, music of the 90s. But I was always introduced to music. My parents were music lovers. So I grew up with things, listening to people like The Temptations, Isaac Hayes. Mm. Uh, 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 no, before that, long before that. I'm talking of Tom Jones, oh, wow. way back. And I, I came up to that. And I'll tell you, some of the first big words I even knew came from rap. I was a notorious B.I.G. fan. And you know, he knew how to mix words together. And most of the time when I speak now, people are like, OK, he has a control of his Lexus. But I'll tell you, it came from rap music. The fact I could put words together, like I, we are, most people I wonder. So I, I feel I've gained so much from music. Yeah. For me, music has even been knowledge for me. Because there were words like, I remember I didn't know what licorice was till Notorious B.I.G. said it. It's actually something sweet. Uh, sweet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you get to learn all these things along the way and you, and you get to listen to music. Yeah, I don't listen to very, very modern music yeah. now because it's kind of gibberish. I don't, not gibberish, but I don't understand it. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I, I'm more into older music that, and I know how it does. That brings me to something because I like to talk about the societal impact of music. Right. Now, I'm a very young person, but growing up, music used to be a tool of transformation and education. Mm. Music had a message. When you listen to music, it had a message, okay? The artists were either passing out a message, trying to change mindsets, trying to change perspective, right? So beneath that entertainment was a message mm. behind every music, but in contemporary times, you discover that music has been reduced to entertainment and sensationalism. Okay, well, I'm sorry to cut you short, but I absolutely <laughs> do not really agree with that in that sense, right? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's what you're able to squeeze out from something that it will yeah. mean to you. Like, I get what yeah. you're saying. Like, when we talk about the Onye Kanwe news, the, no, not necessarily. Like, the for Sonia instance, days for that had, you know, like, a social messages... <laughs> Backing up them, or even the fellas. Let me give you an example. 
You can find the song trending, mm -hmm. and what is the lyrics? See Mary, see Jesus, see Mary, see. Oh, yeah, right. You can like, find another one trending. It's a call your mama, to your spiritual your consciousness. <laughs> when you talk about see Mary, no, no, see it's Jesus. not spiritual. Cult. What I'm talking about is, in the past when I was growing up, you couldn't see such songs trend. These days, what people look more at is beating. Once the music has very solid, yeah, you know, yeah. and really that's what uh, you know makes them calms them from the exactly. You know things. what my answer is to that. <laughs> I would always say every time, and I must try not to be biased. Every time has what its music is preaching. Oh right. Yeah. Um, I think one of the most intelligent scholars in the 14th century in the UK said, um, "Give me the folklore of a people, and I will direct its laws." Mm. I can't remember his name. Very intelligent guy. Because the truth is, if I hijack the folklore of this generation, I'll be able to direct his thought process. So I'll give you an example. If, um, let's say, a big musician, I don't want to call any names. If a big musician decides to pick up a social consciousness topic and then pushes it forward through his music, he'll be able to direct where the people are heading and choose where the electorate thinks. Absolutely. And Kemak is up next after the break.